much more about Himachal Pradesh than Himachal. I am Sugridi and your guide taking you into the deep forest of Himachal Pradesh. So through our way, we'll just meet few of my friends in this forest. So before entering our journey, I'd like to say about Himachal Pradesh. Himachal Pradesh is also popularly known as Dev Bhumi, the land of gods, and is very familiar, right? Okay. Aside that, Himachal is also said to be the fruit bowl of the country, with all that being widespread all over. Tribals in Himachal Pradesh are particularly known as Gujars, Garis, and so on. So, at this excitement, I uh, firstly I'm taking you into the world of flowers. So, let's watch. Flora is all the plant life present in a particular region or time. Generally, the naturally occurring native plants. The corresponding term for animal life is fauna. Flora, fauna, and other form of life such as fungi are collectively referred to as biota. Rhododendron occurs everywhere, but is more abundant in the wetter parts of the eastern Himalayas, where it grows in all sizes from trees to low shrubs. Mosses and lichens grow in shaded areas at lower levels in the alpine zone where the humidity is high. Flowering plants are found at high elevation. Between these extremes can be found tropical to temperate vegetational zone of mixed uh, deciduous forest. Bamboo, chill, ox, rhododendron, deodor, kyle, fir, spruce, juniper and bridge. Abundance of white flower plants and rich medicinal herbs are found in the forest. Have you guys enjoyed it? Yes, I hope yes so did you see my bangles look at this earring and my necklace these ornaments are made by my close friend champali and she's living near and she's waiting for us to show her making uh, so we'll go to her house before that um she is very busy with her making uh, all tribes are living in the forest are collecting ornaments from her Uh, so Himachal Pradesh includes the ornaments for all part of the body. The main ornament is the head bone ornament. Look, this this is worn by women. So um, without wasting time, let's move on to Champali's house. Okay, come on. Namaste, Champali. Namaste. What can I do for you? So what are you going to? show for our visitors kambali today i will show you how to make a simple earring okay great so could you explain the materials required to make it and can you explain it detailedly to our visitors how to prepare it sure materials required the materials required to make one earring are one thin golden wire hook two big white beads small white beads one green bead like this ten golden beads very small and four black beads now let's insert Each bead one by one.
I can read from your face. You enjoyed it a lot. Okay. At times of illness, people living in towns and cities rush to medical shops for getting medicine. Whereas in contrast, people living in forests collect natural products from the forest to prepare their own medicines and which is very effective. Okay. So some of the important medicinal plants in Himachal Pradesh are Saskata Reflexa, Fennels, Karika Papaya and so on. So we can here talk about medicinal plants. I am Ankita, an Ayurvedic practitioner. Medicinal plants help us maintain a healthy life, reduce stress and help us to fight against diseases. Now I will show some of the medicinal plants commonly found in Himadal Pradesh. Tulasi, it is rich in antioxidants which help in mitigating stress and conditions like diabetes, high blood pressure and so on. Tulasi leaves have volatile and fixed oil which can help fight allergies, infections and pathogens. Tulsi help in strengthening immunity, fighting bacterial and viral infections, combating and treating various hair and skin disorders. Garlic. It is used for lowering cholesterol and blood pressure. It has antimicrobial effects. Garlic is low in calories and rich in vitamin C, vitamin B6 and manganese. It also contains trace amount of various other nutrients. Garlic supplements help prevent and reduce the severity of common illness like flu and common cold. Neem leaf is used for industrial worms, stomach upset, skin ulcers, diseases of the heart and blood vessels, fever, diabetes, gum diseases and liver problems. Aloe vera reduce wrinkles heal burns, treat certain skin conditions. It helps to boost the immune system, help in curing wounds, promote hair growth and help in lowering cholesterol. Was that talk informative? Yes, it was. Okay, so it is beneficial for human body. So let's say reduce stress and respiratory disorders and so on. You guys are thinking why I am talking of Tulasi, right? Because my close friend Sumadhi, she lives near there. She specialized in making Tulasi tea. Namaste Sumadhi. I came with a request. Could you please make your special Tulasi tea for our visitors? Yes, sure. I am Sumita. So today, I am going to make the Tulasi chai. Do you know the importance of Tulasi? Tulasi is used as a medicinal plant. It is used to cure the diseases like fever, and cold. So today, I'm going to make the Tulasi chai. Snow leopard, home to an extremely hostile habitat of snow mountain ranges, 
The snow leopard is a powerful predator prey, mainly upon the blue sheep and the ibex. Master of his environment and mostly living a solitary life, the snow leopard is the state animal of Himachal Pradesh. Next, Himalayan York. Standing six, six feet tall at the shoulder, the massively built York is a long haired bovine found in the higher Himalayan region. The shaggy beast has been domesticated and besides providing meat, fiber, milk and hide, the ox also serve as the beast of burden in Spiti, Lahore and parts of Shamba. And the last one is Himalayan black bear. This bear is a subspecies of the Asiatic black bear with a distinctive necklace of white fur across its chest. Its natural habitat is forested areas with rocky outcrops having caves. Black bears are very aggressive towards humans and is counted among the most deadly animals of India. Thank you. Was it informative? Yes, it was informative. Okay, now I'm taking you into another world. We can watch a drawing by one of our artists. Thank you. 